On Earth, we face a multitude of natural enemies. We have the wild animals, the natural disasters, the Fire Nation, and worse yet, Steve Kerr. Back it up, Tear! Back it up! Son. I love that video. When he's why I don't even know why he's right next to the firework to begin with. And throughout our lives, we are preparing ourselves if we ever suddenly find ourselves in a situation where we come across these obstacles. Normally in the grown-up world, we'll just shoot and ask questions later if we encounter these problems. And sometimes, half the time, it works every time. However, there are some occasions that humanity's natural enemies might come for us at school. And in case of those situations, we have school practice drills. Now, is that really why we have school drills? No, I just have a phobia of Steve Kerr's son. American schools are known for a lot of things. None of them are good things, but Ew, they what are the certainly fuck was things. That? And I remember in school, we used to have surprise emergency practice drills. You know, stuff like the fire alarm piercing our ears at 8.30 in the morning. Nah, fire alarm... Okay, well, fire alarms, I understand the whole idea of single file line because you don't want commotion and people to trample each fire other, Fire drills right? are fine. Earthquake drills, whatever, tornado drills. My issue is drills, okay? I've ranted about this before, but the reason I think drills are the dumbest ever is for the sole re- and bomb threat drills. Bomb threat drills are even worse, but drills are dumb because the majority of go to the school. So you're telling them the plan of action for when they sh the school. Now they know that you're going to be sitting on this corner and they can just sh through the drywall. They don't even need to go in the building or not even need to go in the classroom if it's drywall, not concrete to fucking what kill What I thought everybody. was so stupid about that is, is just when we have those drills, I would rant to my teacher and say, bro, first thing I'm doing, dipping out the window. First thing I'm doing. Don't care if I'm on the second, third, fourth, fifth, fucking 17th floor, dipping out the window, right? There are, mo most high schools have what? At most three stories. I'm jumping out the window. I'm doing a barrel roll onto the ground and I'm running into the woods or I'm running into the street or some shit. And every counter argument from every fucking teacher and dumbass school administrator is, well, what if there's multiple people? Well, what if there's a sniper like there was in that one school shooting? And they're gonna kill you when you come outside. I'd rather hedge my bets there than sit on my ass and wait for them to come fucking shoot a, shoot a goddamn bullet into my head. I would rather hedge my bets, bitch. Okay? I would rather fucking, I would rather guess and just fucking run over. All right? While I was still half asleep. And for me, these drills never made sense. Because each drill, they'd want us to act in a calm and organized fashion. Even in a situation when it's not a drill and it's the real thing, they expect students to just walk. Well, I understand that with fires, right? Because a fire running, you, you would maybe want to run in a single fire line rather than walk. But if everybody, if there was like a fire and everybody just started running, you would trample people. More people would die than like... Like, you could theoretically have everybody survive and you could, like, possibly kill people. Walk out calmly. That's just not reality. In a real fire... What class would be the best class to be in chemistry? If you're in chemistry class when they shoot up a school, dude, I'm grabbing acid. I'm, I'm grabbing acid. I'm grabbing every chemical they have there uh, to use to my capabilities to survive. Yes. Uh, that or anatomy class, maybe. Wood shop. Yeah, if, you're, if, you're if your high school is wood shop. Nobody gonna walk in a single file line. Realistically, the best classroom is one where not a lot of other classrooms are. Like, if you're in a like, because most high schools have different buildings. So if you're if you're in a building where there's not that many classrooms, that's the best classroom because that's not they that's where they wouldn't go because like y there's the least amount of people there. And out the door, everyone is gonna be running and oh culinary, yeah, because you got knives. And out of there, shoving everything and everyone out their way. God damn. That's what's really gonna happen. Nobody's gonna be calm and collective. Everybody's gonna be running out of there because they don't wanna burn to death. Now, this also might not be the safest way to do it. Cause in a perfect world, we're all running as fast as possible, but we're all running in sync. You know, nobody getting trampled or injured, no casualties, we're all- Yeah, that's the perfect scenario, but that wouldn't happen. Cause a lot of people run faster than others. 
and then you're just gonna be pushing them. Out of there, spick and span. The problem is that doesn't exist, and we have some slow ass people holding us up from us trying not to be burned alive. Fast students trying to run away, and the slow students holding them up. But I don't want the slow students to get injured, you know. We're all human after all. I'm trying to get everybody out of there as safe and fast as possible. So I found a simple solution to that problem. During a real fire drill, all the slow people, you know who you are, stay back in the classroom. Bro just flashed Drake in a wheelchair. <gasps> nah. Wait for everybody else to run out. Then after when everybody's gone, then you can go. Hopefully, you didn't get burned alive during that time. Simple. Bro just said all the slow people have to wait and all the fucking fast runners go quick. Oh my god, is that a is that a G Fuel shaker cup tagged below? Bottom left, you can check it out, that's all, back to the bed. Problems require simple solutions. This might sound inhumane, but I swear, this is the best option for everybody. I speak for the people when I say this. We don't want slow niggas walking two kilometers an hour while we're trying to sprint out a burning building. We will push you out the way and run you over, no joke. There's literally no time to waste. You walking around slow is gonna kill the both of us. And not gonna lie, I'd rather you die than me. So get nah! the hell out the way! Leaving them behind in the- Yo, they, everybody could just jog. Realistically, you don't need a sprint. Classroom is the best option. That's how fire drills at school shit. Cause like a fi fire spread fast, but not like, you're not running from death spikes. Be done. Not this single fire line stuff. They will be safe, I promise you. We will leave them with a water bottle just in case. But you know what's worse than how schools do fire drills? How schools do lockdown drills. I don't know if they do this. That's another what I'm saying. Countries, cause y'all don't really gotta worry about this happening like us Americans do. But lockdown drills are basically drills preparing us for just in case a dude come in school trying to play real life Call of Duty. And during these practice drills, they had us turn off the lights in the classroom, lock the door, and had us all hide in the same corner of the room, staying quiet. And when I say quiet, I mean quietly talking. People Red. like to talk. Red. And yeah, that's basically what we have to do during lockdown drills. Now, do you see why this is dumb? We're supposed to do this if the Joker comes in the building. Every student in the classroom is basically in one place, just hoping that he doesn't come in. This don't I'm leave- I'm dipping on everyone in the class, bro. Second, yo, real life school shooter drill, out the window. If there ain't a window, I'm running out the door. Or I'm going in the ceiling. I'm not sitting in the classroom. I'm going in the vents, bitch. I'm about to pull an Among Us imposter move. The- Yo, they're about to hear me um, 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 fucking clinking around, crawling through the fucking air vents, dude. Get the fuck out of here. You think I'm waiting in the classroom. Student safe. This leaves students. My school has zero windows. Yeah, then I'm just booking it out. I'm booking it out the fucking front door. I'm, oh, they can lock it behind me. They can lock it behind me. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm full sprint. I'm full sprint. Now, actually, no. I don't know if going in the hallway would be best play. That... <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't think going in the hallway would be best play. I think that might be a bad play. I what a what a good play. Maybe a good play if you're stuck and you got no windows, no vents, nothing. You either gotta wait or you wait until you hear shots and then you go to where you know they're not around you, right? He was in there with us doing the practice drills. Yeah, he knows what's up. And me personally, I'm not sitting there waiting to die. Soon as I hear a for real lockdown drill and I start hearing, I'ma grab the nearest chair and bust the window open. Yeah. Then jumping out, then running as fast as humanly possible. What you think I'm gonna do? Just sit there and play hide and seek with him? No! But there's complications to this too. What if the classroom don't have any windows? Or you're in a classroom in the basement? We're literally talking about all of this shit. Yeah, we ain't even need this video right now. This video's funny, though. Thanks, bro. Running zigzags. He's gonna miss. However, I have a plan for how lockdown drills should be done. Now, we can't have everybody running outside the classroom where the sh is at. That's just not smart. So we gotta have an escape plan with zero casualties. Here's the plan. On the loudspeaker on a normal day of school, the announcer will be talking about a special assembly, saying... Good morning, students. May I please have all the Ethans, Connors, Zach Hunters, really all white boys that are wearing DC shoes, no. please head to the auditorium for a special assembly. There will be complimentary monster energy drinks, mayonnaise, 
and Christian Bale and Ben Sharpio will be special guests. Oh, he's trying to describe a school shooter. Head there as soon as possible. Thank you. As soon as they hear that announcement, they're gonna be running out that door like animals. They're gonna get there as soon as possible. You had them at mayonnaise. It is, it is, well, I mean, it's not only white guys, but statistically speaking, white, white boys shoot up, or white men shoot up schools most of the time. We do this to get rid of all the quiet kids, because one of them gotta be it, bro. One of them, bro. And the special guests don't actually have to show up. It's just a front so we can actually talk about the real plan with the students. Okay, so the plan is this. We all jumping out the window, not hiding in the classroom. We all leaving. After that, outside of every classroom is a secret passageway. And this secret passageway is- But now he would know about that. You can't hide it from- Oh. <gasps> oh. He's saying gather all the stereotypical school, sh school shooter looking kids into an assembly and then- Everybody going and making a getaway for a, st a theoretical scenario of if they shoot up the school. I that's too much. That's too. And what if it's not them? What if what if the guy doesn't go to the meeting? It's gonna look like a big wardrobe closet. Looks normal, right? It's supposed to be misleading because it really leads to a secret basement under the school that only we know about. And yeah, but what if he knows about it or somebody tells him? There'll be bulletproof armor for all the students and weapons of mass destruction. This is literally the safest place for these students to be. And bam, it's that easy in a drill. That's infinitely better than what students do now. Tell me I'm wrong. Then after we done going over the real drill, we call the quiet kid students back from the assembly. Then they arrive at class. Then we're gonna go over the fake practice drill, which is the real practice drill that people go over today. I just solved American school's biggest problem in like a few minutes. And now- Yeah, but what if a school shooter watches this video? Question might be, well, where are we gonna get the money for weapons of mass destruction and body armor for all the students? And I'm glad you asked that question. And here's my answer. I don't know. There are also <laughs> tornado drills. I didn't really do this in school because there's really no tornadoes where I live. But the few times we did it, I didn't really understand it as a kid because we'd have to go in the hallways and go on the walls and duck. And I thought... That's what, what you do in a tornado drill? I've never done a tornado drill because tornadoes aren't common in New Jersey. You go in the bathroom, you just huddle. What the fuck is the purpose of that? Why do you... Is it like structurally where the building won't get ripped up or something? is the tornado gonna do jump over us go into the lockers and duck in front why what like what is the benefit of that if we all duck it on the wall like what is this Not oh getting away from windows that i'm older i can understand if you don't got a basement this is probably the best option to protect yourself from a tornado what else can you really do run you're gonna try to run away from it and you're gonna end up in the land of the wizard of oz but school tornado practice drills is overall done right congratulations you've done one thing right man i should become a principal and run a school based on my ideas on how to run school drills my school about to be the safest school in america unlike yeah, but the, the plan they they try to make a plan so it like applies to every school and it could work like across the board this is actually a good plan but that's hedging your bets on the fact that, like, you're gonna stereotype the white kids named Chad and Hunter and shit, and it's gonna actually work. And, like, they would all go or some shit. It, it's, I, it, I know it's comedy, but it is actually, it, it would be a decent plan if it were to actually somehow unfold perfectly. But if anything messed up, it would be, it would be fucking terribly wrong. And, like, not every kid is, that shoots up schools is named Hunter. Or, or fucking Ethan with like like fucking black air forces or some shit. All right.